Alrighty YouTube, it's your boy Zeoxus and we're back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video and in today's video we're going to be explaining obviously this new storage effect or this new storage mechanic on uh, Marciana's burst skill. I was never going to do a video on this of course because like these don't really need a video um at least when a new character gets a new effect or anything like that but a lot of people in my comments so far um seem to be confused right discord in the comments a lot of people seem to be confused on how it works so i'm going to try to explain it best on my knowledge um right because even at first i was like a bit confused i was like what what does this mean and then obviously it made more sense right um so yeah make sure you guys subscribe and like if you're new um and uh yeah i mean we're close to seven thousand, so we're like 60 subs away child well if y'all want to try to push for seven thousand subscribers today subscribe bro like realistically um i also did put out if you guys go to my uh channel if you guys go to my channel i am actually going to be live for marciana uh polls as well uh when it happens around 4 45 a.m for me est so if you guys are awake and you want to pull up we will be doing live testing of her as well and obviously as you guys already know my channel is basically where i do a lot of team comps with the new character and a lot of other characters so if you guys want to subscribe for that reason subscribe for that reason but let's get back into the video so obviously this new storage effect is um quite insane i want to say it's a broken mechanic and i only want to say that because it really depends on how high you can get this character going now one thing you guys always have to remember is that these skills that you guys see here these stat numbers are all at level 10 right but 27 percent of the caster's max hp is pretty good right let me just go and open the game and i'll give you guys some realistic numbers and compare it like that so yeah I mean, first, let me at least explain what storage is, right? So what storage is, it's basically an effect that allows you to collect HP when you are at max HP. Now, this is honestly the first time I've actually seen this in a game, right? I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This is definitely the first time I've seen this in a game where you're able to store HP when you're at full HP, right? Or not store HP, but store healing when you're max at hp right and this is a very cool mechanic because in my understanding or from my understanding of this this essentially kind of makes you invincible right and i'm going to explain it in a second let me just pull up the game again and then i'll show you guys based on real numbers Alrighty, so here I have Dorothy, who is also a supporter character. We're going to use her HP, which is at 1,389,281. We're going to use her current HP in the game with obviously this new uh, Marciana skills to kind of show you guys how this works. So let me just put this number in the calculator and I'll show you guys. Alrighty, so here's the calculator. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the number that is theirs. So this is my current, currently this is my Dorothy's um, HP. This is obviously with attraction, overload gear, and dupes like that. Let me actually change it. Let me do it like no dupes and stuff like that so it's a bit simpler. So here we go. I have Mary. She has no leveled up gear, just manufacturing gear, no deuce and attraction level 10, which you can do, of course, free to play as well, right? Let's say that Marciana has this HP exactly. What we're going to do is I'm going to multiply it by obviously a number and I'll give you guys the exact numbers. Just uh, let me pull it up. So here are Marciana's skills, right? And we're going to, again, multiply by this number here. So we're going to do times 27.87, and then we're going to divide that by 100%, right? So this is how much HP, if we were at level 10, right? This is how much our healing can go up to, right? Think of this as a capacity, a healing capacity, right? So if we're at 100% of our current HP in game, right? And we keep getting healed, we can get healed up to a total of this number. Essentially, let's say we do have this exact number. So we've healed fully and we've gotten to this exact number right here, which is, you know, 324,000, right? Essentially what this storage skill does is it exchanges damage and heals you for it. So it's set, uh, it's basically just a shield, right it's basically just a shield right now you're not gaining max hp 
it's you can see it as a form of increasing max hp you can definitely see it as that but you're not increasing max hp so this character is not really going to work with 2b in terms of making her stronger you're not increasing max hp you're just storing hp that is being healed obviously when you're past 100 percent so if we have 324,000 hp and let's say an enemy does a hundred thousand to us rather than us taking a hundred thousand damage it's just going to get healed and then the number is going to decrease to 224,000 right because we lost 100,000 right so essentially when this storage effect is up damage is just getting converted into healing obviously if the damage is less than the capacity number which in this case with the stats that I've shown so far it would be 324,000 right um that's a very nice skill because that would make this skill basically an invincible right if it kind of makes you invincible for a, a period of time and remember it does last for 10 seconds so you could always continue to heal back up heal back up right that's why i think this character is going to be very nasty right this is all just from my understanding of how this skill works and then again if we actually uh, you know if we go to the little gameplay they have here and you guys could see here um i'm not sure 1000 percent though because uh okay well one second Okay, well, I thought my Wi-Fi cut out there. But if you guys take a look here, you're going to notice when we use our burst skill, right? Now we have this, you know, what's it called? So our HP was already at full, right? Our HP was already at full. So this percentage, this green thing that you guys see at the bottom here, that is from her second skill that has healed us, right? Now, if we were to take damage, again, rather than us losing HP, it kind of just acts as this, another HP bar in a sense, right? If we were to take a certain amount of damage, if the number, if the damage we take is less than how much ever extra healing we have, then the healing is just going to get, like the damage is just going to get converted into heal. Think of it as like a pre-heal. I don't know if that really makes sense, uh, but think of it as a pre-heal, right? When this effect is up, basically if the number is less than the max healing stored up, then we're, it, the damage is just gonna get converted into heals, right? And that kind of just makes you invincible in a sense because for 10 seconds, you can constantly always just build back up depending on your team, right? A full heal comp most likely with this character might not even get touched, um, but we'll have to test that out of course, right? But you guys could see, right? We're taking damage here. Well, it's only one damage, um, but it's not actually hitting, like taking away her HP. Well, we can't really see it's only one damage. Um, this is not really a good, great way to show it, but basically our healing is right here. This is our healing um, and the damage is just, it's doing damage to us, but the HP is basically just, just like being taken away, right? The HP, the access HP is being taken away, right? So that's how this character works, right? That's how this storage effect works. And that may be very good for this game, right? I think this character might be a fantastic character for a lot of players. Um, and I know it's so big because the anniversary is right around the corner, but that storage effect might be so crazy to the point where, hmm, it really might be like so crazy to the point where people might like lose their mind and forcefully summon for this character because if it works like that which it should right um because again it says affects all allies storage if the target obtained the healing effect that exceeds the character's max hp access portion will be stored up to 27.87 percent of the cast's max hp that lasts for 10 seconds right what is the point of healing being stored if it wasn't just getting converted into heals when you take damage, right? And we can even see here, after it goes away, we don't heal, right? So we know it's not just something that stays up to us and then it just heals us after. Now, obviously we can't really see, I guess, because our HP is less. Well, technically, no, we took damage. We seen that we took one hit for sure, but we didn't like fully heal or see any heal numbers proc at all here. So we know for a fact that this is basically just, it kind of acts as a second shield right now again we are, are going to wait for testing so like i said in the beginning of the video i will be live and i will be doing live testing with this character but from my knowledge and from what it seems like people have you know just people's knowledge as well including myself um or my own that's how this works it's basically just a second shield but it's heals rather than you know it's i guess you could say it's a worse version of a shield but it's actually good because it's a spammable one right the only other person who has a good spammable shield well not a spammable shield but who has a good shield is actually Polly, 
right? I know she's over there, but Polly's the only character who has like an actual strong shield. The only thing is her shield lasts for every 40 seconds. This is a spammable shield essentially, right? Think of it as a shield. It's not a shield, but I guess you can just see it as a shield, right? That doesn't nullify the damage. A worse shield, I guess, but it's actually good because the number is insanely high right that's just my knowledge of how it works right so um hopefully i'm like again this is all without testing this is all me just telling you guys how i see it and how i'm understanding it so hopefully when the character comes out it's not just the complete opposite definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys think it works like that as well but i believe that works like that and i do think if that is how it works which it should um just based off the showing and the text this is going to be a very good skill this storage skill is going to be very, very good. And then it's going to have a lot of people, you know, question to summon because the only other burst to healer is Blanc. And this character is probably going to be um, not better than Blanc, of course. I don't even want to say more reliable, reliable than Blanc. But again, the biggest issue with Blanc for most players is that you have to use Noir. This character, you don't have to use anybody else with her, right? She heals herself and she kind of just stores up that extra HP. So like I said, we'll be live. We'll be testing this stuff live. Um, so if you guys want to, again, pull up to the stream when it, uh, it happens, then by all means. But yeah, this is how I believe it works. The extra defense is also cool as well. It's nothing too crazy to me, um, but it is nice as well. Defense is very low in this game, so it's not really that big of a deal to me. But you guys definitely let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys think it works like that as well. But uh, it should work like that. And I think it is a nasty skill. I think it is a broken skill. So, uh, yeah. It's your boy, Jokster. Subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.